Hey guys, Igor here, and it's almost Thanksgiving time, which means, yes, you get to be thankful for all that you have, and you get to eat a lot of delicious food, but especially if you're in grade school, you might be drawing a hand turkey. You put your hand on a piece of paper, outline it, color it, decorate it, and there's your hand turkey. Well, today, I'm going to take that concept, and we're going to elevate it to version 2.0, hand turkey 2.0. That way, if you are still in grade school and your teacher tasks you with this, you're going to be able to knock it out of the park and have the best looking turkey. So let's get started. We'll begin by taking a picture of our hand, or if you're doing this on a piece of paper, then tracing your hand. But look at how I've placed my fingers. I've put all four of the fingers together and my thumb pointing out. That's because this will result in a far better looking turkey than if you were to spread your fingers out, which would make it seem like the feathers were plucked and they're in a unnatural layout. So I'm going to go ahead and outline with a red color here so that you could see it on a darker background color, but I will later change it to a black outline. So let's go ahead and speed this up. So as I continue to work on it, I'm going to adjust the shape on the bottom just a little bit, rounding it off and moving on to the eyeballs. Do one circle with a smaller circle inside of it for the pupil. And the back eyeball is just barely visible. For the beak, we extend it past the thumb just a little bit and add the skin that hangs off the top of the beak. For the rest of the thumb, we're going to turn it into the neck by adding this bumpy line to it. And don't forget, a little eyelid underneath the eyeball will make it look somewhat more three-dimensional. Moving on to the body, we're going to add a giant wing. And here I had it overlapping the back portion, but that didn't look right, so I went back and adjusted the line. For the chest area, I decided to bring down that line a little bit as well to make the turkey look more full. And now you see me moving on to the fingers where I'm going to section it off into a couple of different parts. For the feet, we're going to do V shapes. So you start with the V shape for the right foot and then for the left foot, it's a slightly bigger V because that foot is closer to us. And then along the bottom, I'm doing these somewhat simple uh, shapes. I'm not going to go all out just so it's a little bit easier to follow. And we section off the drumstick portion with a little squiggle. And now adding a little bit more details to the neck. It's just little half circle uh, U-shapes and a nostril. As well as going in and adding a line pattern to the feathers on the wing. So as I'm finishing up the line art here, I'm going to start moving to coloring the turkey. Now there are two approaches to doing this. If you are painting digitally, it's a vastly different approach than if you were painting on a piece of paper. But that doesn't mean it's harder. So for digital, I'm going to drop a layer underneath my line art and fill it in with one solid color. If you are drawing a turkey on a piece of paper, you would just color in within the lines as you would if you were coloring from a sketchbook. So if you're not sure about the colors that you're trying to use, if you are drawing on paper, just stick around and see what kind of things I decide to go with. And then, hey, maybe that's something that you'd want to apply. But for digital, you can always change it up and nothing's ever really set in stone. So here I am now creating a clipping mask and going in with a couple of different greens, as well as a darker brown for the belly of the turkey. Uh, near the feathers, I'm going to choose a darker blue and I'm going to blend that just a little bit. For the feathers, I chose to go with a mustard color for the base of the feathers as well as the tips. And then you'll see me sectioning off the inner part of the feathers with a darker brown and making this sort of stripe pattern throughout. After cleaning up the feathers a little bit, I'm going to continue to add detail to the turkey. And the next step is to work on the feathers that would be casting a little bit of shadow throughout it. And one way we're going to illustrate that is by drawing these slashes of darker color. This is the shadow that's being casted by the feather that overlaps one another. 
So I'm going to go in with a darker green color, as well as throw some of that along the back of the turkey. Now I'm going to clean up some of the messy areas with that same lighter color from the wings, as well as I'm going to grab a lighter color, not white. You don't want to go all the way to white, but something very desaturated and somewhat bright and make stripes within the wings, as well as use that color for the eyeballs. We're going to throw in a muted yellow for the beak and the, the feet and grab this rich red color for the skin neck part of the turkey. I also decided to vary up that color because on real turkeys it, it gets really complex. I threw in this somewhat purplish tone and then went back with a pink and kind of dotted it around here and there. And now I am taking it another step and starting to add just a little bit of shadow, a, a darker muted yellow for the beak, as well as a lighter color for the top for the highlight. And then I went ahead and lightened the top of the eyeball a little bit and darkened the pupil itself and went back to the wing and the back feathers and added another layer of a lighter color. So as I finish coloring up the feathers and getting them to look how I want, I go ahead and add some darker lines between the individual fingers. And now I'm going to add a shadow. For the shadow, I just create a new layer underneath, drop in a gray color in a flat manner, and go in with a slightly darker gray right underneath the feet where the shadow would be the most intense. I go back to other parts of the turkey adding highlights, probably some of the lightest colors besides the background that are on the page. And here I'm trying to figure out whether I want to get rid of the line art. In the end, I did decide that if you want the most rendered or kind of like fancy look, you can go ahead and erase a lot of the line art. On paper, you would do this by, again, if you drew it in a different a material like a pencil, instead of a pen, you can just use an eraser uh, or you can color over it. So here I remove most of the line art and add in the lines where it would be darkest with instead of a black color, usually the same color from that area, but a darker version of it. So for the eyelid, I went with a darker red slash pink color. For the beak, I chose like a darker yellow. And I also decided to go extend beyond the edge of the hand a little bit to make the turkey more fluffy looking. So for the fingertips, or in this case, the tail feathers, I went ahead and pushed out some of the uh, strokes so it looks fluffier. And you can see me doing that throughout most of the turkey. This just helps give it a little bit more oomph. It, it takes it from just, you know, a simple, oh, this is a hand to, oh, uh, this is actually a turkey uh, that somewhat resembles a hand. Uh, so yeah, here you see me doing that along the chest and along the inside of the turkey too, not just the outer edges. Here I'm cleaning up some of the neck areas by adding another darker purple reddish color underneath those pink blotches that I put in. And you can see that really gives it a lot of texture. I also went ahead and erased the line art that was left over on the feet. So they look a lot cleaner and I cleaned up the drumsticks as well as added my signature. So here we are. This is the final result of our hand turkey 2.0. There are many different color variations that you can do and different patterns. Here is an example of another turkey that I sketched up. I did not uh, render these for too long, but I'm sure that somebody who decides to spend extra time on making these look really fancy, they can. And for those that do want to try their hand, haha, <laughs> get it? At drawing this turkey, be sure to mention me in your post, and I would love to repost it, and I'd love to just see what you guys come up with. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully see you in the next video.